Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Ah, uh, shit. 
You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. Looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I'm gonna show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, Right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Ah, oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Deke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this. There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> Kill. Kill. Damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. You no, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Jesse Williamson. <laughs> Come on, Brought try it. Oh. Do you remember back in the day? Uh. You and Boozer held me down. Uh. Oh, Jack, burn the flesh from my back. Uh. Those, those memories uh. kept me from being uh. free. Uh. Uh. Let's see. 
Good being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I know maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo said there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. There probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then. And what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Ah, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that.
I'll be here if you need me. Stop by any time. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah's property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, I, Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. <laughs> Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? You driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Jesus! I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my God! No, 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 no! Listen, listen, listen! You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was, no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just. Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Dick, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. You ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, do you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh, I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. 
Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Porks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come dead? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found is, is she? Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien, I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said... Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and, well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a Class 4 federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse.
Daddy. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Deke, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. So there was a, a trail that went around Mount Thiels. Thielsen, Thielsen, yeah, that's it. Thielsen Pass. Yeah, but why the hell you... Shit. You've, you've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Yeah, Boozer, uh... I, I think that she's alive. Deke. You never lost hope. You always knew. You never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... Well, I gotta find her. Goddamn right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Annie need, need help putting up a shelf or some goddamn thing. Look, I, I'll see you when you get back to camp. Boozer out. See you, Booze Man. Hey, Ricky. Um, I I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? I'm coming back. What, what do you What do you mean? Booze told us. Booze told you. Okay, look. There's nothing to tell. There's no way over the Sandium Pass, you know. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, I got some shit to take out. <laughs> 